Troubleshooting cooling system issues can be frustrating, but having an organized approach will help isolate and correct common problems quickly. The cause of overheating can be grouped into three main categories, engine issues, airflow issues, and coolant flow issues. Let's take a look at the engine first. Detonation, pre-ignition, or spark knock can lead to excessive heat being produced, so ensure that you're using fuel with a high enough octane rating for your compression ratio and make sure your timing isn't too far advanced or retarded. A lean condition or ignition timing that is not advanced enough can also cause overheating, so make sure there are no obvious issues with fuel or spark. Now let's look at airflow. If you're using a mechanical fan, make sure that it's positioned properly in relation to the face of the radiator and that the shroud, if factory equipped, is present and in the right place. A worn out fan clutch can also lead to overheating. For vehicles equipped with electric fans, make sure that the fan is activating properly and draws air correctly through the core. If mounted directly, ensure it's in contact with the face of the core without gaps and if it's installed on a shroud, that it's mounted correctly without air leaks. Some fans are designed as specific pusher units to be mounted in front of the radiator or puller units mounted behind, while others are reversible and can be used on either side by flipping the blade over. In either case, electric fans should be checked for correct wiring and rotation, which is usually marked on the fan blade. Finally, let's look at your coolant. First, ensure that your water pump is operating correctly. It might seem obvious, but a reverse flow water pump on an engine not designed for it will inadvertently lead to problems. Underdrive pulleys can also cause issues with both water pump operation and mechanical fan efficiency. Your thermostat is also a potential point of failure and should be replaced with a new, tested unit when you install a new radiator. It's also wise to back flush your cooling system to remove debris, rust, and scale before installing a new radiator and to protect the system from future issues with a Champion inline filter. Damp carpeting in the passenger footwell is a sure sign of a leaking heater core. Rather than simply bypassing the heater with a loop of hose which can cause overheating, a proper repair is always the best solution. The coolant system must have trapped air purged anytime it has been drained and refilled and avoid so-called long-life coolants like Dexcool, sticking to conventional green antifreeze. Never use high mileage coolant or leak stop products as they can clog your radiator core. To get expert advice on any cooling system question, give us a call at 855-40-CHAMP or visit us on the web at championcooling.com.